starting when I was in high school and I started after I was in Cork for a little bit, I came home and realized people were, there was still a living tradition around home. I just uh, didn't realize I had, you had to go out and meet people in their homes often to, to, to get onto it, you know? Anyway, so this is a, a man named Sidney Guzni in a place called Parsons Pond. And he, he, he got me over one afternoon and sang a whole bunch of songs that he learned when he worked in the lumber woods, cutting wood and, and different people would be coming from all over and they'd, they'd learn songs with each other over long evenings and then they'd, they'd go home to their own places and bring the songs with them. So this is one that he, that, that he sang for me that day, just a, one called My Brother John. <clears throat> oh, first when I came in this world, my troubles, they began. Because I had a brother, John, we proved to be a twin. We looked like one another, you couldn't tell one from the other, and often I would bear the blame for looking like my brother. Oh, John, he was a hunchback, and he proved to be a crook. One night upon the street, he swiped a lady's pocketbook. As soon as he had swiped it, sure, he escaped and ran. And when they saw me coming up, they said I was the man. I said I wasn't the man who swiped the lady's pocketbook. The copy cracked me on the pole, me knees, they fairly shook. He didn't believe I had a twin, we looked like one another. And I spent the night a jailbird for looking like my brother. Now a night as I was walking with my girlie by my side. John's wife, she comes creeping, comes creeping up behind. Saying, John, you little filthy, you filthy little rat. Says I, you are mistaken, you are taking me for Jack. Oh, she grabbed me by the hair of the head and she hauled me to her home. She hauled me up the stairs and she barred me in the room. She went down and got her mother, her mother, I suppose, and the boat of them beat me black and blue from my head down to my toes. Now time went by, old John got sick and died. He was taken to the cemetery, it was the full event. The hearse went fast, the corpse slipped off, they did not miss and gone. And when they saw me by the grave, they said that I was John. Well, the undertaker grabbed me and says, John, you must behave. You know you're dead and you must not kick, you must go in your grave. They put me in a pine box, I hollered like a bugger, and they buried me up in under the ground for looking like my brother. There you go. 